Welcome to my channel. This is my sixth and final request of the day. And this one, well, to say it would be unusual would be an understatement. This is probably, um, this is one of two of the most unique requests I've ever had. The other one was to analyze a uh, military operation in the Philippines, <laughs> like I'm an expert on that stuff. And this one is two Civil War veterans talking about fighting in the Civil War. Can you imagine that? That's, that's the request. <laughs> I got to thank you for making requests for all the requests you make. It's so, it's so fantastic that the, the wonderful music that I've been introduced to and the wonderful singers and performers that I've been introduced to. And then every once in a while you throw in a curveball like this and it's just like, okay, I can do this too. <laughs> and I really do enjoy doing this sort of thing. So, uh, before we get into it, I do want to remind you that I put the link to the, uh, request form so that if you want to request a reaction you can and if you want to request something off the ball like this that's not music that's fine I'll do it uh, I'm not afraid to do anything <laughs> and sometimes it turns out to be really fun so let's look at two Civil War veterans this is in 1929 by the way so that's like Golly days, that's 70 years after the war. So these guys got to be old. Two Civil War veterans talking about fighting in the Civil War. In 1861, I enlisted in the War of the Rebellion at Warsaw in Benton County, Missouri under Colonel O'Kane, then a captain. We went to Cold Camp, fought the Dutch, and cleaned them out completely. Lost only seven of our men with more than 250 of the Dutch killed. No prisoners taken on either side. From there we went to Springfield, Missouri, where we had the Battle of Wilson Creek, where General Lyon was killed on the 10th of August. The bravest man I ever saw was General Lyon. After he was completely surrounded and pulled off of his horse, he picked up rocks and fought with thousands of men around him. He struck Will Morgan in the face of the rock, and John Morgan shot him with an old-fashioned horse pistol. Kill him. How old are you? I'm 94. 94. Pretty good age for a young man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you got some old How old are you? 84. 84. You were in the same... In the same war. Same general. I'm the same general. General Price. That's a good fine old man, too. Good man. Good man he was. Yes, he was. And we there to stay. And we didn't enlist for a month or a year, but we enlisted for the war. As long as we lived, or as long as the war lived. That's right. Having a good time here today? Fine. We're having a good time. Enjoying, Enjoying ourselves very much. Yeah. Had a good dinner, too. Uh, 84 and 94. Wow. So, let's see, 29 to 40 would be uh, 69 years. From 94 would be 25. He was 25 when he enlisted and the other guy was 15. There was a lot of kids that fought in that war. 
the bloodiest war America has ever fought. Man, they lost a lot of people in that war. That was a horrendous war. <sighs> it's interesting to hear them talk, you know. Uh, when you get to be that old, you tend to forget a lot of stuff. But they didn't forget anything about the war. Remember details. Maybe enhance them a little bit of, have a little bit of trouble believing that General Lyons actually fought thousands of men. Uh, I could see him being confronted by, say, a platoon and throwing a rock at a guy and being shot. That I could see. <clears throat> but, you know, who's going to fault him for enhancing the story a little? Hmm. Interesting to see two Civil War veterans talking about that war. I wonder if there's anything for the other wars like World War I and World War II. That'd be interesting to see. Anyway, we've come to the end of another day. And I, I, I just, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. I really do. And appreciate the requests that you make. And so... The only thing I can do to give back to you is I pray. And I pray that God will bless you with grace and mercy and love and joy. And most of all, peace. The peace that passes all understanding. That keeps your heart in, in, and mind in Christ Jesus. And I pray for that for every person that you love as well. So until tomorrow... This is the Vietnam Air Vet signing off.